Hey guys, it's Axel Bunny Rabbit here. And today I'm going to be showing you a few um, DIY homemade rabbit toys. And I'm a little sick today, so I can't talk very well as you can tell. But I'm just going to be showing you guys um, some of my favorite um, homemade rabbit toys. So today I'm going to be showing you four different toys that are super easy and you can probably make with just things at your house. So for this first toy, it's just um, like a paper towel tube. Actually, a 12 paper tube, but either would work. And what you're going to do, so I'll show you how to start off. So start off like this, and then you're going to want to take it and push it in with your thumb. And see, mine was hard to use, so push that in so it makes a little dent right here. Then you're going to want to push the other side in, just like that, and makes a dent. And to make it even better, I want... I would um, just make sure the point and then push it in some more. That way you have this um, like curved um, thing that is close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hay. And I'm going to use some Timothy hay. And I'm just going to shove it all into this tube. Now I'm going to take some um, dried apple slices and I'm just going to break some of those up and put them in there and just stick them down in there and kind of um, mix it up. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the side as I did the other, so I'm going to push down with my thumb until it makes this dent. Then I'm going to do the other side too. So push down, then fold these so it's closed so that the bunny has like a harder time getting to it. And uh, yeah, this is the first toy. So the next toy is this um, spirally thing, and I don't have one on me because my bunny is chewing on it right now. But I'm gonna show you how to make it with just a um, toilet paper tube and some scissors. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start, you want to flatten your toilet paper tube, and then just fold the edges. On it so flatten it and fold the edges as best as you can just like this as you can see it's pretty flat <coughs> now you're going to take some scissors and you're just going to want to cut slits to about almost halfway up your toilet paper tube and make them pretty close together So you just want to cut these slits. And don't go too far up because you're going to be doing this on the other side. So you don't want it to fall apart. So do small, pretty close together size slits. Just like this. So as you can see, I have these... Slits, and I'm just going to turn my paper towel tube over and do the same thing to the other side. If they're too big, you can just cut them in half, just like this. Okay, so now that I have it cut, I'm just going to twist this end like this. I'm going to start twisting it, but I'm going to twist the other end the other way. So you kind of end up with this twisty thing, and the rabbits will chew on this, and they can chew on these, and just throw it around. And my rabbits really like it, so hopefully yours do too. Okay, so the next toy is this um, little treat um, play tube thing, and I had a... Um, tall paper or paper towel roll I just cut into um, little rings like this so I just cut them and you can cut them all different sizes I have some thinner ones some thick ones and you're not gonna need a whole lot so you can make a lot of these toys well the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one and then I'm gonna take another one and make sure they're all in like the circle form so just like reshape them and then I'm going to put it in the other way of this one so I'm just going to stick this one in this way 
just like that. Now I'm going to take a treat, a rabbit, take your rabbit's favorite treat, and my rabbit's favorite treats are the one I make, ones I make homemade, and these are just some um, banana, carrot, and some other stuff for treats, and I'll do a tutorial on these. But I'm just going to, you're just going to want to put them in there, like this, and make sure they don't fall out. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to take another tube, and make sure it's all circly, and to make it easier, I would flatten this tube a little bit, then slide it on there like this. So I start sliding them on like different ways than the last one you did, so flatten it again, then I'm going to put it this way. And the more you put on here, the harder it will be for your bunny to get this out, and they'll have to chew more, and they will um, spend a longer time doing this to get the treat out, which will keep them from being bored, which I love about this. And if you can't fit it on, then that probably means you have enough on there, so it's just this super easy little um, treat holder, and they can pick it up and throw it and stuff, and just start putting them on there, then yeah. So it's really easy, and I hope you like that toy. So the last toy we're going to make is a um, vegetable string thing for your rabbit. So what you're going to need is you're going to need um, a couple of clips. I'm going to be using two today. Um, you can use as, probably as many as you want. Probably four is good. Then you're also going to need um, some vegetables when you're ready. So I'm just going to have some kale and some carrot. And then you're going to need some rabbit safe string. And so... I have some string here, and you want your string to be long enough to go apart across a part of your rabbit's cage. And so it depends, it doesn't matter what part of the cage you do. <coughs> Maybe above the litter box or like in the middle or something would be good. So just make your string long enough to go across your rabbit's cage. And then what you want to do is tie it to each end. Then take your vegetables and you could take your clip, and you could use a. Um, Close pin too. And you just want to s slide your vegetable onto your clip like this. So then I'm going to do the carrot too. Now you want to go tie your string onto each side of your cage. And whenever you would like, whenever you're ready, take your vegetable and your string and open it up a little bit and slide your string through there. So. My string went through there. So I'm just gonna open this up a little bit so that the carrot stays in there, but enough that the string can go up through there. See, so now it's threaded through there. Now you can just thread it on there. And the kale, you might have to take the kale or your um, like green lettuce type vegetables off and then just. Um, put them back on with the string on top of them that way it stays on and then you have it on there so now you have this little string that they can um, stand up on their back legs to get and it will give them a little bit of something to do and some treats that they love I hope you guys liked this um, homemade rabbit toy tutorial um, subscribe and like for more videos